Hey there, we're back again for match day two with the Factos Manifesto. Uh, up against the Avalon Arrows this time. As you can see, I have a horrendous amount of cash to spend. Now, this is because I'm down that one white, replaced with a journeyman zombie. Whereas my opponent has a fairly normal um, high elf team. Uh, but it just somehow managed to stack up so much uh, in the form of fan faction and the like that he's, um, he's got an absolutely horrific TV. Um... Even more than against the Wood Elves. So we've got a lot of options here. Um, I've been looking... For once I can afford some of the ridiculous star players. I was thinking of maybe Setek as a good Blitzer type to replace my missing uh, White and then and then a Wizard. But I have so many points that I can actually, for once, afford some of these guys. So we've got Ramt at the third, a star player Mummy, Speed 5, Hard Hitting's got Wrestle as well. Or possibly even Count Luther von Drakenberg, speed, uh, Strength 5, but Speed 6, Agility 4, Block, and... Um, Sidestep and Hypnotic Gaze, great sort of for getting through defences and screens. So it's a really hard choice. I want to go with one of these two. Now, I'd be very tempted by the Wizard Setek, but when else am I going to get a chance to buy one of these guys, let's face it. So, ooh, I think I'm going to go with Count Luther von Drakenberg. There we go. That is a lot of star player. So yeah, high off team. Um, thankfully, unlike the Wood off team I faced last time, they don't have a strip ball tackle war dancer type with leap. Uh, they also don't have a treeman, so less bash to worry about. Ironically, although higher armor. Uh, the fact I'm down the white is an issue, but having Count Luther helps replace him. Obviously, he's got Lona strength floor and block uh, helps make up for that a bit, but it does mean if that double skulls comes up, there's not a lot I can do about it. He's also critically got hypnotic gaze, which is a straight agility check to have a chance of negating a target's uh, tackle zones and basically ability to act uh, out of turn, um, which is really really strong, very strong ability if it works. Uh, great for punching up, for opening up a cage. Great for opening up a screen. There he is. There's the count. Wow. Oof. Got it. My opponent, he's probably going to kick. Most elven teams will choose to kick so they can defend with 11 players in the first half. Which ironically means, you know, Ramt at third would be great in that respect, um, with the ability to start with the extra mighty blow on the front line, but I think uh, Count Luther just gives me more of the flexibility and speed the team needs. going to choose. Is he going to choose? Is it going to come down to random choice? He's out of time. I hope my opponent hasn't disconnected or something. I hope I haven't disconnected. What's going on here? He's receiving. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned that my opponent might have um, DC'd. Oh no, he's that race types. Yeah. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened with the um not opponent's placing in defense before. Yeah, yeah. So no, no, I'm receiving. Sorry, I've got that. He's kicking, I'm receiving. Um I'm not sure whether he picked at the last moment or whether he um whether he just had some connection issues or, or something that meant it went random there. I'm not quite sure. It can be quite hard to tell sometimes with Blood Bowl what's actually happened in the client. Okay, so obviously we're going to be sticking both mummies on the front line. Um, no surprise there. So he's going for this kind of box defense by the look of it, which is an interesting one. Um, let's him protect two guys. But obviously everyone else is, is open and available. My strategy initially is going to be hit the people with the minimum amount of actual defensive capability, um, the ones who are most likely to go down. A lot of number of guys with things like um, dodge, quite a dodgy team, lock, and this poor bastard with agility and um, AV buster's got uh, wrestle and dodge. So he's ironically quite hard to take down. He's just um, just very vulnerable if you do smack him on the ground. Okay, so let's obviously start by pulling the, um, the ghouls back for pickup. 
Where's my guard? You're going central. Okay. Oh, it looks like my journeyman's a skeleton. Interesting. Got here we've got a blitzer on that side, a regular on that side, That's a bit more vulnerable there. Okay. Let's do this. He has kick. Oh, the guy's actually throwing it. I got the extra team reroll. That's impressive given the um he's got a very high fan factor. He's only got plus one fame. Okay. Let's put that guy over there. Open with our block move. Oh, I, of course, I have a 12th man. I left the zombie off the pitch like a lemon. Hey, biggie. That's two. Can three dice this poor bugger? Okay, let's see. We can three dice you. We can. But the armor holds. Fuck you with a. Uh, that. Now then, uh, if I pick that up. For the ball. He's got it. I think we keep up with the screen here, to be honest. Uh, no point fouling yet. I mean, guard in the middle of that line will make it a bit tougher for him to break through. And we have Count Luther hanging around back here. He's going to spend his time trying to bash this zombie up. Works for me. He has got strip ball and tackle on this, this blitzer, unfortunately, but he doesn't have leap. And we've bloody eight, so that's something. Or dodge. No, he does. He's a blodge. Oh, Christ. He's, in fact, a very strong blitzer. With the full suite. I've sort of left him open on that front, but it'll still be tricky for him to work his way around there. Possible. I wonder if he does that. He's in range of getting pummeled.
So we've got a fairly column-based elf defense, as per usual. He hasn't dodged either of these guys back out of there. And the zombie's taken up those two guys' attention, so that's pretty effective. Is he going to blitz, try and blitz the end off of here to get the blitz around? I'm, I'm not one of to be honest. Yeah, that's got to be it. So he's going to try and push and fold me inside. Okay. Ooh, and an arm break. Less than helpful. At the same time, he's vulnerable. Go for it if he wants. Who's going to mark him? Ah. Ish. Oh, you little sod. But that works for me. Ouch. Okay, so he's basically let me... He's, he's got the block in for me there. And this guy starts guard and can then just stand up. Okay, that's made him uh, in quite a lot weaker a situation, to be honest. I move up there. Do this carefully. Oh. Armor held, unfortunately. Now, oh, do I blitz and then move away? I think I do, because I'm not that concerned. Damn! Well, I've got to try for that reroll. It works! Whew. Okay, that was risky as... Ah, uh, damn it. Going straight for the double skulls. Not massively helpful. Do I then? Yeah, I think I do. I'm I'm out of reroll here, which so this could be risky. But <laughs> both game. Ah oh, well. I'm very glad that uh, Lona didn't kick in there with the, the Duke. That's helped me massively. Oh, I think he might. Thinking about trying to take the Duke out.
Mm. It's tricky. The extra fairly mobile strength five guys are massive problem um, for him trying to move things around. He wants to get the ball carrier, but end of the day, he's going to have to make some two plus rolls. I suspect he wants to get the right people in the right places. Yeah, it probably would be better for me to do that scared than up and standing compared to what I got, but I don't know. I had uh, you know, one third chance of, of putting the guy on the floor. If he keeps on using his guys over here, that's fantastic. He's man marking a lot. And I've got to say, and this is planning to actually break the cage this turn. I play high elves in tabletop um, moderately successfully. I mean, I'm, I'm not again not a great player, but um, in our local league, I haven't done too badly with them. Um, he's going quite strong on, on contact, basically. Okay, so it looks like he's thinking over here about trying to crowd surf this guy now, um, which is reasonable. Although I will go through, start throwing one die blocks back over there in a minute, just to knock my own guy over if necessary and stop him getting surfed. But the um, the amount of time he spent there, yeah, and again more man marking. Where's the blitz going to come in? I mean, obviously he's just trying to pin areas of the cage down so they can't respond. But um... Yeah, he's throwing them all in. Here's the full, the full Monty of marking. Is he going to pull this guy away or not, is the question. Where is his blitz going to come from? It could come from him. He's got block as well. Uh, the catcher is a legit... Is a legit Blitzer in these circumstances and is free, but obviously if he gets stuck in and it goes wrong, he's only got AV7. Dodge and block will keep him up pretty well, but even so. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, he's going to go in that way, okay. Reasonable, and then presumably try and get the tackler in on point as well. Okay. So he's opened up a hole to the ball carrier. Okay, yeah, now he needs to pull this guy... I don't know, actually. Is he going to try and one-die this guy? Ooh, down he goes. Okay. He's, he's in. He's used a reroll, but he's in. So is he going to now one-die this guy? He is. And it's a sidestep. Thank you. Now, where do I want to go? I could go over here or over here. Both are pretty good. Um, I want to go over here. For some odd reason it's not doing anything. Taking its sweet time to uh, carry that through. There we go. Ah, yeah, he's, he's no surprise he's backing that guy out of combat. Okay, time to start punching people again. Right. 
make this tricky and stand this guy up to start with. Okay. That's what I was worried about. Better. This is where things get tricky. I need this guy here, so I've got to take this blitz now, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to have to fill up there. Hmm, less than helpful. Ah, damn it! I have a suspicion that is my drive about to fall to pieces. No, he didn't even take the blow off. Oh, shit, that's bad. Oh, no, he used Wrestle. He used Wrestle. Oh, oh, okay, that's not so bad. Right. So I still have a Blitz available here. How do I want to do this? No. Right, let's have a think about this. So he's used Wrestle to avoid getting completely decked, but that has opened me up quite badly. Um, so what do I do now? I need more... I need to be putting more of these guys down. It's just not quite working out that way. Um, I can shuffle this way a bit. They've got to take Luther out to get through, but they do have the ability to make those blocks. Uh, one, two, three, boom. Yeah. A bit wary about that, to be honest. Uh, or I could, yeah, I could go this way. and put that bloke out of commission. Oh, this is tricky. Okay. Yes, I'm blitzing with the ball carrier. Now then. Yeah, I need to sort of reinforce Luther down here. I think I might need to put him here. Or down there. That gives them more options to punch in. Hmm, tricky. Interesting. So where do I put this guy? That's another person who won't be making a block on my turn. Right, then over here. Do this. Gonna be both down. Good. Just stops him getting surfed. Well, the first injury is good, but I need to get some more of these elves off the pitch. Like my superior strength in this brawl, it's just not quite working out for me. He's still in a relatively reasonable situation to try and knock a corner off here. Promise he's trying to do it to the star player on somewhere else. He has the mobility to pick somewhere else, to be honest. But, um... And now this side is, is free again, which is a bit of a concern. Obviously that blitz can get in, yeah, he can mark and go in this side. So you might try and go in both corners at the same time. My dice have not been massively helpful. I'd use two rerolls over three turns. I was thinking about getting the wrestler in, I guess, but that's a lot of, um, that's, he's got dodge, but on agility three, I wouldn't want to be trying to get in there, to be honest, that seems pretty, 
dubious to me. Luther's certainly doing a stalwart job of holding the corner of the cage. The cage isn't going anywhere at the moment, and it's not going to go anywhere unless I can get some more of these elves out of the way. I need the numbers advantage. enough dodge, block and wrestle to make it a bit of a pain for me. Um, in a way I'd have been less happy if he'd taken the both down there than using the wrestle. Uh, although obviously that might have actually put that bloke out of commission permanently. Uh, he's using that blitzer who is the threat that I'm concerned about getting on the ball um, here. So that's not too worrying. In fact that's sort of reinforcing around here. I'll just to get the people, need people in. On, uh, well, he doesn't have that many people to get in on uh, Count Luther there. He's once again going full body contact. I'm just, I'm honestly just kind of surprised. I mean, it's working out for him so far. The only injury he's suffered has come from uh, his own his own uh, uh, block. Um, so I can't fault him too much on this very aggressive playstyle. But um, in, and I suppose I'm an unskilled undead team. If there was a bit more block kicking around or something, if I had the second white, this would be a lot more risky for him. But as it is, he's got a lot of guys with block and dodge and, some, and wrestle. So we can afford to try and go toe to toe with me in the, on the basis that I might flail and flail and fail to actually have much of an effect. For instance, if he sticks this catcher next to him, you know, I've got to get oh, there's a one in six chance I can knock him down. And indeed, uh, he's actually not on a, well per dice and both downs as well. Are not so great there. If I make contact. He's in a lot of trouble. But yeah, he's he's going in again for mass marking. We've got a target there, an agility 5 target even. A bit of a prime there. Yeah, yeah, here comes Blitz on the most vulnerable, well, a vulnerable corner. And it's got him. Shit. Problem with trying to form a cage here is just I can't keep the ghouls safe. And he's on the, he's on the ball. Alright. Oh, you little sod. Two dicing against like that. What are you going to do? Well, I've got to pick one of these. Who are you going to shove? Keep beggar. Although, ironically, that's just freed me up to really go for it. I oh, know he's going to try and bring this guy around. Ah, he's too late! It's too late to bring the Blitzer around. Interesting. Do I, need to, do I want to Blitz with you actually? I think I do. No, I don't. I need to keep the ball carrier ready for blitz trust. Oh, no armor break still. Very frustrating, that. I 
Okay, it's potato time, as they call it. It is time to potato. No, no, no. No, 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 no fouling. Not fucking foul. No, oh, and of course he goes down. Because of course he does. Got to use that reroll. He's good. He's, he's out of range. Right. Bloody hell. Ah, yes. Excellent. Could have done with that a little bit earlier, but I'll take it. Now the Blitz with Tackle is there, so this should be a fairly reasonable opportunity to pull free here. Where do I want to go? And away, Dodger, away. He is away. Next up. By the guy Dodge is risky, didn't work. But I'd rather be there just to make it harder to get at the count. Okay, the potato is away. <laughs> yes, they're not going to kick shit out of the poor skeleton, I think. I'm glad I have a 12th man. Oh, he's held. God, that guy can actually theoretically get to my guy. Shit. That's less than ideal. I mean, I've got people in, in range who can help out. He can get next to him. Best is with two dodges, but he's got dodge. It's basically a whole load of two plus rolls. Yeah. Be there. Yeah, he can go. <laughs> the uh, computer wanted him to take a much riskier route. Yeah, okay, he's fine so far. He's going to go try and mob the rest of my guys, presumably. I might still have a reroll for just running away, of course. Yep. Oh, Jesus, really? They made it. That's a risk. Risky risk. Yeah, I thought as much. Oh, he's going up the side. I suppose put more threats on. This guy will then be in range if I screw up as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's trying to block that guy. It's not the end of the day, though. There you go. That's relatively manageable still. Need to dodge.
get up there to hypnotize him, unfortunately. So Lona makes the two pluses on go for it's too risky. Plus there's all the dodging to do. Doesn't have sidestep. Oh, it's risky though because if I still have a reroll, I'm better off just trying to dodge away. And down they both go. Oh, but it's a stun for me there. Okay. Let's get working with this shit, shall we? Damn. That didn't... Right, I, what I needed him to do was go free so I could run up there. That didn't happen. So that gives me a three dice over here. Oh, that's really not working out for me. Shit. Here it goes. Makes it. Damn. So the plan there was to try and get the white free to move him up in support, so even though I failed that roll, I'd have the white in position on his blitzer. That didn't work. I got a knockdown, but it was not the one I wanted, so I didn't have anywhere to move follow up to get free of the other tackle zone. I kind of screwed myself there, basically, with my things. Right, he's back up again. That's a pain. On the other hand, I now get to run defense, which I'm a little bit happier with, to be honest. Okay. Where's my other? Yes. <clears throat> I wasn't able to do the effective two on grind in terms of um making him wait. Uh, uh, unfortunately, his threat was too strong. He's, he's played very aggressively. It's paid off from quite well, with only the one casualty so far. At least I've scored a touchdown. First touchdown for the team.
And he's still got two of his rerolls. Despite his extreme aggression, he hasn't had to worry too much about really bad rolls. Now, ideally, he's going to shove a whole load of people on that front line to, to knock down those zombies. Okay, so he's slanting hard down the right. Massive block here. Yeah, I think he's going down that side. Let's see where the ball ends up. So a good kickoff result for him here, um, because speed is of the essence for him in terms of getting people where he wants them to go. Uh, that'll make it a lot harder for me to catch the catcher and the like. But that's okay, I mean stopping him scoring in his four turns would be very very difficult, so I was going to focus on brutalising elves, to be honest. I mean, theoretically he might just completely disengage from this front line. Um, and he doesn't even need to take no, no he's not he's because he doesn't need to make the block or dodge rolls. Instead he's he's pushing forward to slightly hard for me to get where I plan to go with this guy, admittedly. Okay. Ooh, do you take that dice roll first? Because there's a one, a 1 in 36, I mean there's not a very high chance, but there's a 1 in 36 chance it doesn't go well for you. So is he going to do all his blocks first? He does, I can hope it eats a reroll and then he rolls a 1 on the pickup, that'd be lovely. But, um, obviously can't guarantee something like that. He's thinking about what to do with the catcher. And he's going to be very hard for me to, to stop now. Here we go, come on, let's have the 1. Oh, he's going to hand it off to the other guy by the look of it. Or is he just going to pick up? Come on, roll one. No, he's got it. Okay, come on. Now a one over here. Hand off with a one. No, he got it. Of course he did.
Really? He's going to go straight for the... Uh, thing straight in for that, is he? He's going he's gonna to screen him, of course. Yeah. I'm less concerned about these guys because I do have some with hypnotic gaze. If my opponent would ever roll a one, I'd, I'd feel a lot happier, of course. Um. Oh, timely. Love it if this went to a double one. Come on. Let's have the double one. No, it's six. But that is another reroll gone. Now a lot's going to depend on whether this hypnotic gaze goes off. Ah, you little shits. If you do that, you have kind of screwed me. Damn it. Okay, well that's fine. Ironically. Oz. Yeah, so one of those great ironies is that it's okay because... I'm not that fast about. So I can't score in my remaining turns. It's just not happening. I want to try and get a three die on this guy. Can do. Oh, really? Oh, this is silly. That really didn't work out very well, did it? Come on, die in that. Seriously? Can I get a single knockdown? No, unfortunately not. Um, so, my opponent can score if he wants from here. I 
might try and bring enough people to take the uh, mummy down, although not with the double pushback. He won't have a much harder time getting the numbers in there. Yeah, we can probably surf this guy. This point. Lovely. Do you dare re-roll that, though? Yes, he does! That's interesting. When's his last re-roll on that? I am intrigued and a bit confused. Is he just going to go for the touchdown here now? Oh, because he wants to get it on the right. He wants to get the SPPs on the... So, look at it. Is he going to do it? If he's going to do a handoff, um, it's a two-plus roll. If it goes wrong... Oh, re-rolls. He's... No, I was going to say, surely not. gonna do? Is he gonna try and get some of these guys away? But no, he's not because he's he has no rerolls. Ah, oh, this is very very risky for him. So yeah, standing that guy up is absolutely the right choice before he makes any more die rolls. And of course, that's why he double did the double sky there. He wants to make sure he does gets whatever's going on. He's oh, he's just gonna go for the safe play and take the touchdown. Okay. So, oh, he actually has two turns. Now, he can score in two turns by taking this, this early touchdown. Um, so I am at risk here. He's saying he wanted the SPPs on the Blitzer really, but it's too risky. And I agree, because he has no rerolls, and that is... Sod's Law is the time that he would end up rolling a 1, uh, and it will go a bit pear-shaped at that point. It's a shame I didn't get to crowd-surf that guy, or lay into the rest of these guys. Uh, he does have to put some poor bastards on the front line again. Yeah, we're actually looking at like a, a very similar setup to last time. Uh, okay, if I have to, I can do a sprinting rush with the Duke um, to get in there. And try and get a touchdown in. He's got agility four. If anyone's actually likely to receive a catch, it's him. Let's keep going. Oh, nice.
Ooh, that, let's make it him in attack as well, actually. That's... Okay, forget the uh, sprinting forwards to touchdown. Let's just get on with killing people, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've got my skeleton again. Been boobling around. Just in case. Okay. My mummies just cannot knock people over right now. It's a little bit embarrassing. Let's try and f knock the corner off. Yeah? Not even anyone to foul. I mean, that's just disappointing. The sheer number of uh, pushbacks and things I've got that aren't knocked down so far. Quite considerable. That might even be worth a foul there, to be honest. Got the extra spare man still. Hmm. Battling odds aren't great, but um Put the boot in. It's not good odds. I didn't get through. But hopefully it'll make my opponent concerned that I will actually crack on with fouling. Oh, I'm afraid there's a the sound of a printer in the background at the moment. That'll pass soon. Okay, where from here? My blocks have not paid off. I've had a lot of pushbacks, or, you know, a lot of options where I've had big pushbacks. Or, uh, and his dodge has stood him in good stead. Um, we did get the two knockdowns there, but no armor breaks, even with the foul. Really? I don't know. Well, fair enough, if you want to go for it. You want to take that risk with zero rerolls, mate? Crack on, but, um,. Unless you can get a receiver in position, it seems unlikely. It'll pay off. You may be able to just get a receiver in position, of course. I might have made a mistake by doing that. But um, on the other hand, there's very little places I could hide in the backfield that he couldn't eventually get someone to anyway in these two turns. It just seems safest to be standing next to the mummies. But again, they might pop the end off this. Oh, he's even going to go for a blitz. He's the right guy for it. Risky as hell, but... Oh, he could do it. He could do it as well. Wow, if this doesn't pay off, he's in a lot of trouble. But if it does... Well, here we go. Come on, fool. Oh, he's there. He's there. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's done it. He's actually done it. 
Oh, where's that ball going? It's there. Okay. Whew. Okay, that's fine. Right, so that ball is not going anywhere. He needs to get a uh, he needs to get a receiving position now. She's gonna do, but Inch. God, all this with no rerolls, really. Um, this is some prime elf bullshit going on here. I desperately need some of these. Really? If you do that, I will genuinely applaud this guy for the sheer balls he does that. He's just stood him up so far. He does that, I would genuinely applaud. Of course, time continues to tick down. Oh, you little git. That makes it a lot easier for you to pull that off, in fact, with the wrestle. Down they go. Yeah, yeah, much easier now. Oh no, he's just going to dodge out of the way. Hmm. Here we go. But it doesn't work out. Okay, well, you know what I need to do this turn, of course, is foul the crap out of that guy. Okay. Let's see what we can do here, shall we? Fine, I will take the rerun. I'm being greedy, I know, but... I'll... Really? Ah, oh, seriously. Six dice and not a single defender down. Ruinous, absolutely ruinous. Right, um... Blitz, I should have blitzed down there like a lemon. What? Okay, eight dice and not a single one. Come on, zombie, get in there. Move this guy out of the way. Yep. Okay, let's put the foul in here. another failure. Jesus Christ, these guys do not want to achieve very much, do they? So that was really disappointing. All those hits, I just haven't really done a lot to the enemy team, despite the punching the flame, because they're just not landing hits. Um, 
And my opponent is still in a situation where he can reasonably score. It's not going to be easy, but he can certainly do it. Wow, just just wow. Pushbacks. So the, the mummies just can't knock people down. Oh, frustrating. Um, I'm hoping the dice will start to turn my favour in the second half with inflicting injuries on the elves, though, or at least to KOs, anything, anything at all, just to put people out of action even for a turn. Get me some numbers advantage, because clearly it's not working at the moment. Now, one of his best options here, I guess, is try and push someone onto the ball to pop it free. In the hope that it scatters somewhere helpful. Only score he has is that I should have... Yeah, I should have uh, clocked this guy properly, but... Okay. He's thinking about what he's going to do. That guy has dodge. Oh, he could, yes, he could just go straight for the 50s. 25% chance that works off with that dodge and that pickup. Okay, he's going to try and pull the blitz off. Hmm, it's tricky. I've got enough tackle zones around that it's going to make a lot of the dodges down here um, problematic for him. This guy goes back one space, he cannot touch down. At best he can go sideways one space. Yeah, he's going to try and free up some of the mess up here. Okay. Sort of work. Might be trying to put the duke out the way. Ah, no, he's just trying to clear a route in to then knock that guy off. Stand up, blitz me back in. That guy doesn't have guard if he stands all these guys up anyway. And he doesn't need to risk me, he doesn't need to worry about me hitting back this turn because, of course. And he's going to move. He doesn't need to worry about me hitting back because, of course, we're on turn eight. It's half. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, really? All these dodges. All these two pluses. But he's, he's somewhat succeeded. I need to push him that way rather than on the ball because he can't tell where that ball's going to go. Well, I don't know. He might hope he gets... There he is. He is. Where's that ball going? Uh, an equally not great place. And that's it. That's the blitz means he cannot shift any more of that. So he's going to have to send this guy in. Oh, here we go. He's done it. Seriously. Oh, the elf bullshit is really... Um, coming on strong. Yes, he intercepted it! He intercepted. The zombie got in the way and made the intercept. That put an end to that, thankfully. Whoa. Oh, that was that was getting pretty, um, pretty risky, to be honest. Which bloody zombie was that? Uh, who was it? 
Two, that guy, okay. Right. Yeah, that was like that was tense. That was definitely tense. I was terrified for a moment. He was gonna terrified. I was really concerned he was gonna get away with that. Um Do what I probably should have done before and do a proper ziggurat this time for, for defensive purposes. Um, makes it much harder for him to get through. Vampire on one side means he'll almost certainly try and go the other, which is why I have put the guy guard on the other side. I was not expecting that interception. Congratulations to the zombie who saved the day. Who was that? Sorry, which actual zombie was it? Was it? It was La, who I believe is the factol of the bleakers, the bleak cabal, nihilists uh, types, actually. A uh, very grim lot, but in fact one of the nicer factions in many ways, because they believed that since there was no inherent meaning in the world, uh, they believed in a, an element, a sort of take on nihilism where they said, therefore the only meaning is what you make yourself. Uh, and as a result, a bunch of them were actually quite good people in the bleak cabal. Um, even the relatively, uh, the apparently aligned evil Factol, if I remember correctly, was did a bunch of good stuff, um, drawing on their own selves as the as the source of drive and direction in, in a meaningless universe. Um, meant that what mattered was what you cho what you chose mattered, and uh, and that was as, that was as far as it went. Another one on five over here. MVP is Terence, who was the Factol, the Athar. Who uh, believe that the gods are all frauds? That basically the system of the universe, the multiverse, and Planescape with these gods at the top of it was all um, was basically an impressive power structure. You know, these gods at the top feeding off like parasites off the belief of all their followers. And really, what were they? Did they really hold the ultimate mysteries of the universe? Did they really know better? No, they were just very, very, very powerful. As if that entitled them to actually rule everything. So the Athar um, really didn't like gods very much. Lacking kick, I'm very much at the mercy of the, the dice with the kick roll, um, the scatter and the like, since it can go literally anywhere in the field. I'm targeting sentry. I could try and target it more specifically in a given direction I wanted, but that's no guarantee it will end up, end up going in that direction, and even then, um, it increases the chance it'll go out of bounds and give a touchback, and I, I don't want to give my opponent touchbacks, I want to make them have to roll for everything they possibly have to roll for so that, that the, the ones will eventually turn up. You know, elf, elf play involves a lot of two pluses, um, but the ones do turn up, inevitably. The sixes for the intercepting zombie in my case, but, but the point is, every roll is another chance for things to go wrong for them so i want them to force them to make lots of rolls uh, and elven play really does rely on the fact that even then you can pull off ridiculous chains of rolls sometimes it won't always work out but um but of course cognitive bias means it always seems to work out very well when it's someone playing against you Being down one guy is obviously plaguing him numbers a bit, but uh, the the mummies just need to really get in there and get those armor breaks. I'm not even sure I've had any stuns. Um, one KO and one injury. Really feels like I should be doing a bit better.
very aggressive on that flank. Yeah, as I suspected, he's more towards the side with the white on it. Another quick snap. It's just been quick snaps all the way, hasn't it? Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. There are reasonably good odds that's going to end up as a touchback. Certainly doesn't put it in a nice safe place for the elves uh, for a throwing game, but uh, equally, mm, if it doesn't, yeah, you know, if, if that just ends up on my side, then it won't be great. So I have to hope either the guy catches it or it scatters back a little bit, putting it within my reach. The question is, is he going to move the guy out on me from underneath it? He might choose to do. He's got it. No, he caught it with a six. Of course he did. Well, bugger. Oh, that's theoretically vulnerable, but in practice, I'm so sure. Oh, if you see my opponent's rolls, plenty of knockdowns. Can my bleeding mummies roll a knockdown? Can they, buggery? They benefit so much from having block on them, it's just hard because you need a double. They don't have access to general skills by default. There's a lot to love about mummies, um, as big guys with no nega traits. They still have that same issue getting some of the key skills. Can do come down this side? Maybe he just wants vengeance on the poor guy who uh, made the intercept last time. Four blocks, four knockdowns. I mean, as a loner, I could, if I move one of these guys up, I've got, I could make a two dice against block there and pray, see if it paid off. But even if it did, even if I pop the ball free, it won't be anywhere I can get access to. I think on my turn I'm going to need to commit both the mummies in, probably blitzing with one of them in the hope I actually take a lineman out. Him to there gives guard in both directions and means he can do us block him. He comes in here and hits that way, obviously standing all these guys up. I've got to think about what I'm going to do with um, the count. I think I need to bring him up this side as well. This guy around here to help fend this whole area in. But it depends a lot on where the ball carrier goes. I'm gonna go for a foul. I'm surprised on a, a zombie of all things. Didn't work. With the ball carrier, I mean that. What happens if the ball carrier gets sent off there? Bring all, 
boy up here. Mm, I don't think I want to bring him right up there though, do I? Because I kind of need him free and in the middle in case they go sprinting past, really. Stack up it. That's the guy I want to hit. No defensive skills. It's a pushback again. Finally. Oh, and that's even. Ah, finally, we're getting some arm breaks. Okay. That's good. That is good timing. I think he needs to stay there. I mean, my opponent could well just try and swing right around here. Which vulnerable. Yeah. I'm not too worried if he tries to run off down that side. Um, because the count is there and my ghoul's a bit faster. <clears throat> Up. He is vulnerable to getting crowd surfed. Six so can bring him up from the other side. He's going to get get blitzed if I move um, without much doubt. To be honest. Okay. Like okay. to tell, armor break went through. Could be important, especially because it's his star blitzer. God, I wish that guy had been sent off with. <laughs> I, I'm gonna guess that the ball just drops right on the ground if you. But, um, yeah. That's the start I was hoping for. I mean, he got the hit in, but that is a good start. He's down his reroll for this turn. So let's hope for an equal bad roll for him coming up still. Gonna have to be a lot more cautious about taking risks now because he doesn't have the backup of the reroll. And that ball is ultimately still on a guy who is a loner, and, well, a gun loner. It's, it's on a guy who really has nothing going for him, apart from, in fact, he's an elf lineman, which is quite a lot going for you. You've got agility four. Um, but he's also, as a journeyman, I guess, I guess the question is, does my opponent consider scoring with him and then maybe hiring him? He does, afterwards, if he has the money. I don't know if he does. I'm presuming he wants to get it onto somebody else. Come on, fella, dodge roll. <laughs> double one. Wouldn't that be lovely? I got a double one. Well, he got a double one on the injury there, actually. So I went, well, he's had a double one. Got that double skulls effect. But having that reroll on that, have used up on that first roll, is going to have to make him probably recalculate a bit about what he does. I think I had dodge, so that was a relatively safe move. Looks like he's going to try one die the mummy. It's not unreasonable. He skulls it now, which he doesn't. Of course, he doesn't. One die, crucial moment. He doesn't. Double, he doesn't skull it. That's opened up a hole in my defences. Ish. Well, it's also just pushed the. Door. He's staying glued to him, which is interesting. Oh, but it's not that much of a hole. Oh, 
Okay, come on, fail the roll. No, of course not. Oh, he's used his rule for this turn. He's trying all these, again, it's all these two pluses, but they're just not coming up with the ones. Now that is a bit more problematic, because that guy is the, the threatening, that is, that's the threatening thrower, if you like. Now he's got three moves left. Clattering and bashing in the background. Things get dropped, sorry. Okay. Three moves left. He's has he used his blitz, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's okay, he's bringing his ball carrier up there. So he is going, committing to this left side drive by the look of it. Now I wish of course I did have a wizard, but I think I think the Count's done his job early on anchoring the side of that cage very effectively with string five. He's gonna really That would be absolutely nuts. Surely. Yeah, something else like that seems more insane. Yeah, to the guy in the middle of the cage, yeah. Of course he gets it. Because he can't roll the ones, can he? God damn it. Two plus two plus two plus two how many of these? Ah, uh, so many of them. Oh, used his dodge roll to get out of that. Hmm. Now, we have a potential crowd surfer. I'm not sure I can put it off. I can open up an angle onto the ball carrier, though. It's only a one die, but I think that's likely to happen. And we're through. I can't get two dice on the ball carrier. <clears throat> of course mine goes to Skull. Of course mine does. Oh, for pity's sake. God damn it. I try the two plus rolls and of course the one comes up. Ah, rage. Okay, not the end of the world. End of the world, but that really didn't work out as I was hoping. Simple wall of bodies here more or less blocks this area in. Could have done with throwing a block over here, but uh, I should have just accepted the push. Chance to put one of these guys out, especially the kicker. Who's throwing this block exactly? The blitzer, of course, the blitzer is. I can't believe it. My opponent is making two dice blocks against, and they're working for him. Oh, dear me. This is really one of the most aggressive plays I've seen. It's working out for him. It's very frustrating for me, but oh, it's, it's a good lesson on how to play high elves, I guess. Even if it's having me here screaming, seriously, every time this is happening. I mean, oh, 
Bloody hell. I can't get... Uh, I'll tell you what, I made a mistake there anyway. Rerolling that. I was hoping for a 1 in 6 chance. I got a 1 in 6 chance, it was the wrong one. Because that guy's got block and dodge. Um, the reroll wasn't worth it at all, was it? That was that was a bad move on my part with the reroll. Not just because I rolled a skull, but because the chances of it paying off were so very, very low. Damn. Didn't think that one through. I saw the hit I could take on the ball car. I thought, well, I've definitely got to go for it. Didn't run the odds in my head. Turned out to be a bad idea. Now that said, ironically him being there on the floor is, is helping block things in quite effectively. Yeah, even just moving him up and standing him there might have been a better plan. Or using the blitz elsewhere to hit someone more vulnerable. Now, is he planning to go for a one die on my vampire or even a two? Yeah, no, he looks like he's going for the one die. Try and open it up to get the ball carrier through. Of course. Oh, for pity's sake. Now, where do I want to go? Um, do I want to go here? Here. There, I think. sake. Oh my word! This is true. This game is becoming infuriating now. Absolutely infuriating. Okay, I'm not too upset about that, as long as it keeps you in contact with me. Ah, oh, okay. There's another reroll. No, he doesn't, didn't think so. Right, so I've got some issues over here. He's obviously going to try and score, so I, I think I should probably bring the vampire in as a threat. And see if that will just force him to score. I do not believe. Okay, the ghouls seem to be doing all right. The blitzes, the mummies, however, less so. <laughs> oh, 
My armor breaks, not hits. I think the disappointment this game is really being the mummies, their inability to just put people on the ground consistently um, is just not really working out very well for me. I'm getting very frustrated by the elf bullshit, but that's always going to be the case playing elven player. Um, I've made miscalculations, like with the white reroll, sadly. But just the inability to the, the mummies to do what they need to do is meaning this just the grinding I'm trying isn't paying off. I'm going, well, okay, we'll let him touch down. I'll, I'll try and grind your team down. And of course that isn't happening. A lot of elves on the ground, they're just not getting hurt. Oh, he's going to hit the ghouls. The sod. A bit rude. Okay, so I'm presuming he's going to go in for the touchdown from here. No, he's not. What's he doing? Oh, he's is he going to go for a... Huh? Using. What is his plan? He's got enough dodge on the team that he can mobilise and move himself around very, very effectively. This would be a great time for a one, no? Three little sod. Well, I need to be getting those. Defender downs with my knights. Come the hell on. Oh no.
I don't believe it. One die M. It won't work. Oh, it worked! It did work! Surprising. But not where I wanted it. I need the mummies to be getting those hits in. I need that mighty blow um, to be paying off. My opponent wants to stall to give me a minimum number of returns, obviously, to get my own touchdown and equalise it to become 2-2. Two, two. But at the moment, it's, he can stall just fine, despite my massive strength superiority. Because I just can't lay hands on the buggers. Go on, ones now would be wonderful. No. I don't believe it. He's made so many of these rolls, he only had to use a single reroll. Um, so it's really working out from here. He's been very careful about choosing the people with the skills to you know, take the rolls, but he, he barely needs them. Oh, leave my poor ghouls alone. And he goes. So, I mean, obviously right now, I can put a blitz on the ball carrier. Who then runs away? Yeah. I think we're going to try and put this guy off the pitch in a minute. I'm very much getting given the runaround back here because I have to commit if I'm going to threaten to break, and he's hard time just getting around it. Yeah, those are just uh, just gone wrong for him. If the bad luck had struck at that moment, I'd be much happier. <laughs> I'm thinking boom boom blitz push him towards the edge. Go around what I meant. Oh, I wonder if he to get the SPPs of this guy. Yeah, kills of course he does. Concerning. Oh, why will this guy not just fuck off and die? Really? Ah! Oh! And that again stops me from something. Like that. Oh, this is legendarily infuriating. Got to the loner.
Finally. Little bloody sock. Yeah, we've got the kicker down. Three up here. Oh, that's, that's going to be sadly. Um, the entire team are now slowly closing in. <sighs> I think I'm going to have a consolation round of getting to punch my opponent, but little more than that. Can I put the punches in instead of... I presume he was going to try and move up to get the... Oh no, he is, because he got that's why he did the blitz. Okay. Come on, have a one now. Double one this. His dice are on fire, and he's going, I think he's going for the touchdown now, actually. His dice really are on fire, oh my word. Uh, it's another set of two pluses, and he has a reroll. He screws it up, I might have to get in there and crowd surf, but I don't think one. So if, if I could, risky, but I could. Less concerned. That guy's... You use reroll here. Let's give you what you want. Let's reroll down. In fact, I have a line in to take that bloke out now. Risky as fuck, but be worth it. I presume he's going to try and bring this guy around to block that. He's got no skills. Uh, two plus to dodge. He doesn't want to. Six, seven. Go for it. Push will do it. Yeah, he's placing him as far away as he can. Reasonable. Make sure he's completely out of my reach, even if crazed mummies. That's the problem right there, isn't it? Damn. Let's 
to have a think. So, ah, uh, no, I can't quite do it, can I? It's a lot of dodges that just aren't going to pay off there, isn't it? set up for your thing, you've got a pretty good situation to stop me, uh, you, you stalled very well, not really going to be able to score again, and unfortunately that blocking with this guy meant I couldn't get in the way I wanted to. Another KO, now the KOs are coming, oh they couldn't have come earlier could they? You know what, we'll take them now they're here. If you don't score next turn, this poor sword's going off. Meanwhile, the zombies continue to do their blitzing job, smashing this guy down. And I think I have to put the file in over here. I'll just start by getting through. Okay. The question is how eager he is to get the SPPs on that guy. Relatively trivial, I mean, it's an extra blitz, uh, which is relatively straightforward. He's got a free blitzer there. It is a blitz he has to make to do that rather than somewhere else. If he screws any of this up, all goes free. Start as that poor fox going on the pitch. And finally, my opponent is starting to run out. Bloody people. <laughs> Many people with dodge. Very, very hard to pin anybody down at all. Just need my opponent to, to make a screw up of some sort you know, to um, make a suitable error or have some bad luck that open here. Why? Me? I mean, I can't score from here, so there's really no point in him stalling any further. I'm not going to be uh, making a touchdown. Theoretically, I could, but I don't. Against this team, uh, the ghouls, uh, the unskilled ghouls, are just not going to survive potatoing up the field. Yeah, this is more sensible. Block him off, cut past the ball over. There you go. Oh. He's not going to do that. He's going to try and stall further. Like I said, yeah, theoretically I could equalise, but it's incredibly unlikely to happen because I, have, because I need a ghoul in my backfield for wherever he kicks the ball with his kick. So it's not going to go... It's simply not going to go where I would need it to go for a two-turn score. Um, I suppose he's being very cautious of the possibility of a riot, but I'm surprised he'd be very cautious now after a very aggressive play throughout the rest of the game. Um, or he's just trying to minimise, he thinks, two turns of me hitting him is 
after a reset is, is worse than a couple of turns of me hitting him. Reset in the middle. Oh, well, I suppose that's another way of ensuring that you can uh, get that touchdown and even burn a reroll. Really quite. And we've got some quality elf play going on here, but I'm not entirely sure what it's in aid of. I'm obviously missing something. Or he thinks I am a competent enough player to still be a scoring threat. Um, a couple of times I have, which is very kind of him to believe that of me. This guy's presumably going to get the fuck out of dodge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, he's he's not. He's doing all that just in case he screws up. <clears throat> but it's a pass and a touchdown. Oh, for pity's sake. Uh, that was a very safe play in Mittal and his part. Yeah, that, no, not many chances that would go wrong, but he really pushed it there. Okay, one of those guys is still KO'd. Right, let's try and get some bloody SPPs. From punching people. That last match, none of my fouls have gone through. Cheers. Alright, and then it stopped me getting anyone sent off, I guess. Uh, kept my chances down, but. And I haven't been doing um, serious gang fouls either. I've been just trying little smaller ones here and there with a bus or two. Did any of them go through? I can't remember. Might have been a stun of one of them, but I don't think so. Now come on mummies, get some SPPs by punching people, please. My opponent can't really score from here unless there's a riot, I don't need to worry about that. Theoretically again, if that could be a touchdown, it's, it's a bit silly but they... I don't want to be using the blitz in this turn anyway. It's a chance to get SPPs. I want the SPPs on my goddamn um, regular team members. But even so, the equaliser off of uh, Luther would be funny. I mean, uh, I can need to worry about. He needs to worry about one turn, as right. Interesting. A lot of chances for me to punch things. Mm. Funny little setup. It's a quick snap. Go, Luther, go. This is your hour.
Okay, Luther. Run, little man. Run. Stun, but it's just through the armor. And that's the end of that, I think. Uh, no, not necessarily. I'm still in a position that I can score from. <laughs> And off to the other ghoul. Five, six. Ghoul has it. Seventh passes. <laughs> See, it's ironically, he's going to have to. <laughs> he's going to have to worry about me getting a touchdown still, even though I think it's astronomically unlikely, but. Um, but quite funny. <laughs> See a second interception this match. In the long odds that my guys actually managed to pull this off. I mean, first I'll be spending my time punching dudes, to be honest. And that's a, with dodge as well, finally. I could have done with that earlier, but I'll take it when it, how it's happened. Ooh, okay. Really? Okay. It's an injury. These injuries I've inflicted have both been really vicious. Wow. Using the apothecary, and it looks like he's rerolled it into just an energy. Reasonable. Okay, so the question is, right, one, three plus, I have no rerolls. That's just a lineman, um, I'm not so worried about that. I can foul them, but, oh, that's tempting, right. Yes, do I, do I foul that guy? I mean, he's on the floor. He's really tempting. Uh, good odds it'll go through. Or this guy. Three plus. Th three plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't want me to score, so he'd rather hit the lion. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, 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 uh. this thing. Come on, he's got the ball. Ah, 
Now this has got a lot more viable. Do the thing. Oh, it's it's a completely inaccurate pass. Oh well. Oh, what what an ending! Ah, oh, fouling the guy would have been fun, but yeah, I guess I had to go for the equaliser. Okay, that was a very frustrating game. The mummies finally started to get the damage in, but it happened in the last quarter of the game again. Uh, another poor money roll. Um, 60k in my treasury now. Still don't have enough to buy that next ghoul. No, obviously no no increase in my fan factor. Um, yeah, that was a very frustrating game for another number of reasons. Uh, no, I don't want to buy him. That mummy got the other thing. Yes, I wish to validate. Okay, the MVP landed somewhere good. So, hmm. I made a stupid mistake with the white. There's only one in six chance I'd take the wall carrier down there, and I went for it and then took the reroll one. I shouldn't have. I should just get the reroll if I'd rolled a skull in the first place. Um, so I can blame myself for that one pretty thoroughly. Did Count Luther do his job? Did he count? Did he give me three hundred? Did he give me three hundred ninety thousand worth of inducement? Thing? I think he did a good job. He really anchored the corner. Uh, for some reason, my opponent quite focused on him in that initial um, drive, and he re I th it felt handy that he, he helped me a lot with maintaining presence. Whereas otherwise, I think I might have gotten steam steamrolled there. I don't think a wizard would have been massively honest um it, my opponent just wouldn't have um bunched up as much as he did uh, but him bunching up didn't really put me in a disadvantage he was running rings around me and that was what was putting me at a disadvantage and um a uh, setek would have been basically like I, I ended up blitzing with the mummies a lot to try and get them in the right position and i don't think setek would have helped me very much though so i think luther was probably the right choice uh shame now the fouls worked out shame the damage didn't start rolling till right at the end um my opponent's team is, is looking pretty solid now. I mean, I, yeah, that poor bugger is line of it's line of scrimmage fodder now, isn't he? He leveled up. Meanwhile, Factos Manifesto are back up to having a proper roster. At this point, I will be tempted to buy a twelfth ma uh, man skeleton as a foul or just standard. Um, the money's not coming in for the ghoul yet, but I don't really feel like I, I've been needing it. Um, the twelfth man would be really handy for getting the fouls and feeling like I have that little bit of damage uh, cushion, um, especially because I think I'm facing orcs next week. Let's see, yeah, Flora Flash and Floozies. Who are they facing this time? They are playing fantastic necro. So if there's chance of them getting, there's actually a reasonable chance of them getting damaged this time um, with this crazy, crazy team. Uh, no one's leveled up in that team yet. But maybe the claw on the fantastic necker will do a number on them and weaken them. So I'm actually going to have to be careful here. I want to make sure that his. I'm going to have to look at his TV quite carefully and see what his numbers are like. See whether it's worth me buying um, a a extra man, or whether I'll get one anyway, or whether um, from from inducements, or whether I don't. I want to avoid him giving him inducement. Frustrating game. It was frustrating, I think, especially because it felt like the one time I tried to push the envelope, uh, I got punished for it quite badly. For, but it, that was a misjudgment on my part. Um, yeah, well, we did get some XP again, at least. So, up to two now. He's, he's steamrolling ahead, this guy. Um, a couple more injuries and he'll be level three. Oh, Christ. Well, guess we'll see how things go against the Orcs next time.